he did a half hour video of his achievements as president and it starts with how he saved General Motors <laughs> forget that of their 220,000 jobs 160,000 are offshore it went on about how he single-handedly reversed the banking crisis forget that it was just Bush's program that he just extended and then he went on that he killed bin Laden uh, forget that he couldn't do it again because he's dried up all the intelligence assets because we can't question anybody uh, we have to go to them and say excuse me would you like to tell us the details of your terrorist network no thank you not today well thank you very much have a nice day that's the army field manual we are not permitted any more aggressive interrogation than is permitted of POWs uh, that is the current law and we can't interrogate them anyway because there's no place to put them. We can't put them in Guantanamo, that's closed, except for the people in residence. Uh, we can't put them in jail in the United States because then they get all of our constitutional rights because they were on our soil, and the rendition houses around the world have all been closed. When we caught the head of the Al-Qaeda in Sudan, we had to put him on a Navy ship and interrogate him in the Indian Ocean uh, because we couldn't bring him any other place. And the interrogations are ridiculous. And on top of that, we're not capturing any terrorists. We're killing them with drone strikes. And dead men say, tell no tales. Uh, the guys that are happiest when we kill an Al-Qaeda person are Americans. The guys that are second happiest are the other guys in his cell. <laughs> because he's not going to talk, and they're not going to have a drone hitting them. Uh, but So he talks about bin Laden. Uh, he talks about his wonderful efforts to target terrorists. And then he says, goodbye, vote for me for re-election. He never mentions health care, not in that one half hour video. Ooh. He doesn't talk about it. It's quiet. It's secret. Well, John Roberts made sure it won't be secret. 